Hi, St. Mark's. I did a plain chant video back in May, if you can remember back that far. But I'd like to do another one. And But in the first video, I chanted Psalm 23 for you on a very simple, what we call a psalm tone. da 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 and you just sing the same notes over and over again for the length of the psalm. Each verse has that same repetition. Um, I'd like to sing some more complicated chants for you today. Within the Eucharist or the Mass, however you want to call it, we have two, um, I guess what you could call them sections in a way, of music. One is what we call the ordinary. These are things like the Kyrie, the Gloria, the Creed, the Sanctus, the Agnus Dei, that are always a part of the service no matter what, except for the Gloria during Lent and Advent, but otherwise it's there. Then we also have what we call proper. Now, in a modern context, these are where we would put in a hymn, like the opening hymn, the sequence hymn, communion hymns, uh, closing hymns, those sorts of things. But before the Reformation, there were what we call propers. And these were chants that were written to fill these slots in the liturgy. And the propers, as we know them, are the introit, which is the entrance, the gradual, which is where the psalm is in our modern liturgy, the alleluia, which is where we put our sequence hymns preceding the gospel, the offertory chant, where the choir today sings an anthem, or the communion chant during the distribution of communion. Notice there's no closing proper. It's never been a part of the rites, and if you look in our modern prayer book even, there's no rubric for a closing hymn. It's just an interesting little side note. I'm actually going to sing two chants for you today that were for yesterday's feast, the sixth Sunday after Pentecost. Before I sing these two chants, though, uh, there are two references to pop culture that I wanted to bring up that include chants. One is, some of you may remember, in 1994, an album was released. It was a recording of the Benedictine monks of Santo Domingo de Silos. It was monks sitting in a monastery chanting, and it actually hit the top of the charts in 1994. It was this new way of meditating, new way that has been going on for centuries in monasteries. I owned this CD when I was in high school and just fell in love with chant, and I've um, appreciated learning. That was sort of my introduction back then. Also, if you have ever seen the ultimate um, cheat, I guess, is the movie from Disney, The Hunchback of Notre Dame, you know that the hunchback's name is Quasimodo. Quasimodo gets his name from the introit chant for the second Sunday of Easter. That's the day that he was found at the cathedral. So I hope you have enjoyed learning a little bit more about chant, and I hope you'll enjoy the introit chant and the communion chant for the sixth Sunday after Pentecost. See you soon. Consider, Lord, and hear me when I cry unto thee. Be thou my succor, or cast me not away, neither forsake me utterly. O God of my salvation, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom then shall I see? Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Consider, Lord, and hear me when I cry unto thee. Be thou my succor, or cast me not away. Neither forsake me utterly. 
Oh God, of my salvation. One thing have I desired of the Lord. With Even that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, even forever. Uh oh, you're evaluating my work. I am. Are you subscribed? I will with a red button. And give us a thumbs up. I'm a fan, of course.